Hello guys, this is Ant Holofer from the future. The video you're about to see is me unboxing a package from Ant Farm Supplies. Now, the package was quite damaged when I got it. It had been through some issues in shipping because I had been sent to my company address, which is my own address, but the post office service didn't understand what the... I don't know if that's why the package has been damaged or if it's just unluckiness. But either way, this is my very honest opinion of my first look at the Ant Farm Supply Nest. Again, due to the damage, if I do go out and contact Ant Farm Supplies, which I will do, uh, I'll probably get everything um, sent back in uh, new new versions and stuff like that. Um, but just, just bear in mind that I want to be more honest on this channel. And um, this is my first and honest thoughts about the Ant Farm Supply Nest. Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome to today's video here on the Extra Channel where we will be unboxing my first ever product from Ant Farm Supplies. Um, this in here is, as I, as I believe, a nest. And the reason I'm doing this unboxing is because I've followed them, well I've followed Ant Farm Supplies pretty much ever since and who showed them at the Great Ants Exhibition, I think the first one. Oh, why is this so... What's this? Is it, it sounds like it's filled, of, filled with sand. So this package has been through a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, it's, it's been delayed due to all sorts of reasons, but all thanks to me. It's my fault it's delayed. Um, but yeah, first of all, I have not even doing my voiceover here. I'm saying I got some screws right here. Um, yeah, we have some screws. Then we have some screws and some different connections. Very nice. Then we have this little, <clears throat> thank you for shopping with us. We'd love to hear how your ants are doing. Join our feedback group and post your photos and community. Oh, and videos. Um, AFS and community. Wow, my nails, man. I've been working today and it's been, uh, yeah, I haven't cleaned my nails. Sorry for that, guys. AFS and keeping community. All right. I think I've actually been recommended to join the group on Facebook. About a thousand members, I believe. So that's uh, that's definitely not bad. All right. So what do we have right here? All right. I'll just empty the package real quick. I don't have enough space. Fire's over there. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm really confused. There's one thing that I'm really confused about. I thought maybe it was the package that had been damaged or something. Why is there so much sand in here? What's all of this? I mean, surely that can't be from the package, right? That's something that I've leaked in here. It must be. Why is there so much sand? <laughs> I don't understand. I, I, I would guess I would guess it's something that I've leaked from another area. I, I, although I don't know. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing this product in real life. And we're met with some green lid. To be honest, I like the green lid. I think it's an underrated opinion. And you don't see many green lids nowadays. So it's it's nice nice to have something different. I'm just kidding. It's something we need to peel off. Now, one thing I really do like about this. Hang on, is this another? No, no. One thing I do like about this is the screws are not in place. Oh, hang on, you can just remove it. Oh, I think this is really nice. I mean, it's a little bit annoying that you have to screw on the nest yourself. But to be honest, when I'm receiving products from Aesthetic Ants, it's, it's all screwed in place. But there's also this protective cover on, so you have to pretty much unscrew it to remove it. Um, so I guess you may as well just not screw it in from the get-go. So now I understand where the sand is coming from. If, if, if this hasn't been fixed on, I guess that's how it's leaked out. Well, not leaked, but I guess that's how it's come out. Um, yeah, sorry for my uh, dirty nails. You would expect... A content creator like me would by now remember to do things like cleaning your nails before doing a session. Um, is this upside down? <laughs> I was like, this 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 doesn't fit. All right, so I have some tweezers here that should be able to just pick it up now. Um, they're small, they're sharp, not an issue now. Okay, so how is this meant to be placed? Like this? Yes, like that. All right. So you can see we do have some acrylic, like these small pieces from the cutter that have to be removed. Um, and remove the dots, not the tweezers. But yeah, 
just push these through. I mean, to be honest, I'm I'm really conflicted what to say about this. Um, you have stores like aesthetic. What I can't get that. You have stores like aesthetic ants where the the lid is fixed on, but the acrylic protection is not removed. There's a green thing here. That's the acrylic protection, but it's not removed. Um, and then I peel it off, and then I'm too lazy to actually go in and remove it properly. Um, then you have stores like um, like this here, where the lid is not fixed on from the get-go, and you also have to do this. To be honest, I feel, or maybe a little bit honest, I'm not harsh right here, but uh, that's that's how and for 2023 is going. Um, I feel this should be fixed from the store side before, moving the, before actually sending the products out. Um, I mean, by now... Uh, my fingerprints are all over this. Um, you can see as well there's like uh, sand and debris, and now I have to fix it on. Other than uh, other than complaining a little bit about the lid right here, this does look. Is it is the sand coming from in here? It's just sand everywhere, but I can see it's the same color sand and this. I'll just put it to side. Okay, so I've just removed the, or made this red lid ready here. Very interesting how massive the holes here is for the screws. Um, I'll have to screw everything together in a second, but let me just check out the other nest right here. Um, of course, I think this is the vertical nest right here. Well, there's just sand everywhere. Is the sand coming from in here? Wow, it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like I should. ASMR right here. All right, it's fixed now. I mean, this is package has been through through the worst. I want to say um, because it's been in travel for for many many weeks. Now, if that is is that an excuse for this, I don't know. You tell me. Um, but yeah, we do have quite a significant amount of damage right here to the side. Um, this side here is also a little bit damaged, and um, we do have a little bit of damage up here at the top as well. As you can see right here. Um, wow, okay, this whole thing. I, uh, wow, this whole thing is falling off. I wouldn't, uh, looking at the nest, I don't think this is meant to happen. Um, but of course, what I will do is I'll reach out to Ant Farm Supplies. I'm guessing they will explain what's happened. Um, but you can see we have magnets here. Magnets, magnet, magnets. Um, I'm a little, to be honest, I'm a little bit lost for words. I don't really know what to say. What to say. We have sand. We have. Um, I have to go in and f f fix on the lids here. I mean, I want to say this is a. Uh, it's not a new store, but it's a store that's relatively new to coming out. To I mean, I've have, I've not heard of them until last year or something, and now I've read. It's the first time standing here with the products. Um, I want to be honest because the first impressions are not really great. Um, I think this is mainly due to the shipping, but um, it, it it can happen to anyone. Just because I've had a bad shipping period doesn't mean that this 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 should. I guess if you make a package with more um, protective things, it would be better. Um, but yeah, we do have a lot of damage. Like this whole thing is falling off. We have some damage down here. We have some damage here. Um, all of the sand fell out and have been leaking in the package. Um, I also feel. Um, to be honest, I feel like nowadays. This should just be fixed in from the get-go. Now you can see because it's not been fixed in, there's sand all the way around. Now I'll go in and remove that, but by now I have fingerprints on the bottom and the top, and there's yeah sand pretty much everywhere. Don't get me wrong, these nests look really nice. They do look very nice. Um, and they just click together like this here. All right, so it's 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 okay. So you have you have you can't just rely on this. Holding it together, as you can see. If as, if I if I take my hands, I I don't know if it's, cuff, if it's because it's broken. It may be because it's broken that it's not that strong. Yeah, I think it is because it's not getting the proper connection right here. I wonder why there's magnets on the side as well. Because the glass is fixed with screws, I believe. So what are the magnets for? Hang on, let me just grab. Let me just grab. This is the lid for this thing. Yeah, like that. So this is, this is how the lid goes on. So what are these? Oh, hang on. Oh, now I see the magnets. 
Huh? No. No, I don't see. I don't understand the magnets still. Uh, I, d I don't see the purpose for the magnets, but I'm sure I'll, it makes sense. Uh, okay, you know what? What I'll do is I'll try to fix all of this. I'll screw everything together and I'll come back to you. I've got to be completely honest. If you get an Outworld, I, I understand they can't ship it built like this. This is the, uh, the very bad Outworld that I've glued and it's gone very wrong. But I understand that you can't ship this big of a block that can just crack if you just bam, smack. Um, but I'm gonna be honest. I think I think this should be fixed from the store side. I think the acrylic should be or the protective here should be removed on both sides and should be fixed on before the customer receives it. I'm getting harsh because at this day and age, the community is growing. The everything is getting bigger, and I want to share my honest thoughts, like I've tried in this video. I um, I'm I'm not I'm not feeling good right now. Noxy is here trying to say, oh, it's okay, Dad, I'll lick you, that makes everything happy. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here um, with my screwdriver here. Now, you should never use a drill for doing these things because you'll ruin the thread. Um, what I'm feeling right here is, um, first of all, I feel like maybe the holes in there are too big. Because, I mean, this screw here, this middle one, I actually didn't screw in. See, I can just pull it in and out. Uh, I would guess it's meant to be for a screw hole right here, I don't know. It just comes in and out. I think the holes are too big. Um, same with the other ones, like putting in, putting these screws in. I, I don't feel um, they don't have that point where oh now it's fixing in. Like they they turn around like very easily all the way, and then in the end they're just in there. You don't really have that point where it's getting harder and harder and harder. Now this tells me like now like now I, I, it doesn't feel harder. It's in there. It doesn't feel harder. It's meant to like feel harder, so you know when to stop. Um, there isn't a manual of, I didn't see anything at least, of how you actually meant to put the screws in like this. Uh, but ever since I have been re changing tires on my car, my uh, I've always been told to go in like, take this corner, then take this corner, then this, this, all the way like that, because then you ensure that all the holes fit. Now, after I put this in here, I actually had a little bit of a hard time getting this one in, but it did get in there. But another thing, because I have a dog right here, there's, well, there's dog hairs everywhere and when you peel off this acrylic protection you create a lot of static electricity meaning now all of the hairs have gone like around this and i tried to clean them out yeah i tried to clean hmm. i tried to clean them off but as you can see they just kept coming in again if a store does this for you before they send it shouldn't be an issue um I am I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I, I'm, I've said I'm honest ten times. I, I I don't like this. It's understandable when you get a flat packed out world. This right here is not what I would expect when I'm buying a product. Um, but yeah, I've just completed the first nest right here, putting on the lid for the first time. That's very nice. I do like this. I like that it has a little bit of wiggle room, but also it fits down there, so it's it's quite easy to put in here. Now, uh, because of all of this little bit of confusion with uh, everything, I have pretty much forgot to talk about what this is actually made of. Um, so we have a 3D printed shell around here. So oh, we have a magnet right there. Uh, but yeah, it's 3D printing all the way around. Then we have, of course, the acrylic lid. Um, in here, I'm actually unsure. I think it's a gypsum, cast gypsum, um, with the uh, sand put on top. And of course, all of the loose sand is because it hasn't been removed properly after drying because some of the sand will not stick, only the bottom layer will stick. This here is the hydration hole. Um, this is interesting. Um, so it's just a little 3D printed chamber down there, but I would guess it has connected to all the way around. Hard to tell though, but I would guess it's just connected all the way around, um, which shouldn't really be an issue. Um, so this is the first nest. Of course, the other one over here has the damage, but I'll still assemble it um, to see how it looks. But um, how, wait, how do you hydrate this one, actually? Oh, from the top, I guess. Yeah, okay, so we... Oh, that's interesting. So we do have some kind of... So we have a mesh right here. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be and safe because that is definitely way too big holes for, like, well... A lot of ants. Um, I think species like Glacius nighter could just get through those holes. Um, so I'm unsure rather what, what it's actually for, that little layer down there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same nest here. Uh, it's a totally different layout, of course. And uh, it's meant to connect on the back, which due to the damage, it sadly can't. Um, 
I mean, to be honest, I, I really love the looks of these nests. I really, although I've not spent a great experience unboxing them right here, goodbye, Noxy. Um, I do think the nest looks really sweet, um, although this is all dusty and scratchy, thanks to myself, I guess. Thank, I don't know, I think things should be fixed from the store. So guys, the nest is now all constructed and it's time for my final verdict of today's little video. Now, sadly, the product was damaged quite badly, as you can see right here. Uh, and therefore this magnet function right here doesn't work as it's intended. Personally, I feel like four magnets is perhaps a little bit on the low side either way, but it's a cool system um, as long as the product uh, don't take any damage doing shipping. And of course, although I have said some negative thing in this video, I do think it's a good, here we go. I do think this nest has some great features. I like that you can do the laptop design uh, seen in other companies such as the Wakushi lineup, you also have this uh, laptop. Um, and I think it's very nice because it's very space efficient. And to be honest, this nest is very, very big. Now, as you can see here in the side, it's also a very deep nest. Uh, what was that? That's like two centimeters deep or something. And here in the back, you also have, you have maybe like three, maybe even four. It's very, very deep. Ah, that's, that's around three centimeters. Now, having a deep nest is both good and bad. The issue here is, well, the ants have more nest space because, of course, they can sit here on these sides, which, when it's a vertical here, it's quite nice because you can see like that, like that, oh, it looks quite nice. Here, you'll have a lot of ants sitting up here, up there, which you actually can't see too much. And personally, I, I want to rather have my in a thinner nest and have the ants more up close because now they can actually bake, stay quite far back. Now, here in the macro lens, it doesn't seem too bad. Um, but just when you actually casually and keeping casually looking in, I think this deep nest right here may be a little bit of um, an inconvenience. Now here at the bottom, it's not that big of an issue because you're looking from the top down. Another thing I want to mention is these screws up here did fit perfectly. They were just as I want. They were tight from the beginning and when you came to the end, they were very tight. So I don't know what's gone wrong with these screws down here and why you can just take them up and down. Uh, it wasn't the same issues with these one up here. So I don't know if it was a printing error or what it was. Um, as you can see, once again, you hydrate the nest from up here and, uh, yeah, they snap together like this. I do, I, I, to be honest, I don't want to be able to do this with one hand and I don't know if it's because my version here is broken, but I think you should use two hands to be able to actually pull them apart because at the end of the day, you don't want them to accidentally pull apart. I'm quite sure it's meant to just connect like this without any tubing whatsoever. And if that's the case, it needs to be a strong connection. See, one of my concerns with the white tongue nests here from Aesthetic is they're too thin and they're like really wobbly. Uh, as you can see, compared to the EA one, it's nearly, well, it's quite a bit more thick and I, I'm, I'm not scared this will follow. This won't tip. It's it's very, it's also heavy, like this weighs nothing. Um, and this, I just, I'm, I'm scared, this doesn't feel, I'm, I'm scared this will fall and, and we will tip and fall. I'm not scared this will tip and fall. This is a very strong, um, section. I mean, it's also heavy, which I do like because heavy means, well, nice. Um, so yeah, but what I would like is to have three stubbers all the way around because just because, I don't know, I guess you will always use one of these as a connection, but I think it could be cool to just get three stubbers by default if you have a nest with three different ports. Now this right here is, I'm guessing for test tube connection. I'm unsure. It's like fixed 3D printing. It's very hard 3D printing. Um, and I may be a very nervous guy generally because I have stuff like that. Um, and I feel like this is very loose. Um, like I just, you can just push through it. Like as you can see, it's very, very loose to like pull in and out. And um, I don't know if it's meant for connecting a test tube, but again, I like my setups to be very strong and very sturdy. Um, and I feel like this is this this could be a weak point where if you accidentally push it, then this says. And that wouldn't be fun if you have a test tube connected. <coughs> I looked at my phone, which was just gone. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, this is, as far as I know, well, I heard the f a podcast not that long ago where I think it's a store that's been running for three years. I've only known about them for around a year's time or something, I think. And to be honest, um, I do really like their ideas. I like, I like where they're going with it. It's a little, um, it's something we haven't really seen in Europe before these products, at least from what I'm seeing. So yeah, overall, I do think these nests have a nice potential. I do like them. 
there's definitely some minor things. I hope um, it's just an issue with my package and not generally. There's one thing I really don't, I really, to be honest, I really don't like. There's sand here as well because this package have leaked. If the lid was fixed and the acrylic was peeled from the get-go, we wouldn't have sand everywhere. There's just sand here. Um, there's sand everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's how it is. Um, I do wish the store will fix that and Iron Farm Supplies, supplies will no longer do that and ship them pre-built. Um, because I feel it's way more, more nice for a customer to get the nest that they don't have to build. It's a company with a lot of exciting things to happen. Um, this hole here for the hydration is a little bit big. Uh, I do see if you have some water in that, that'll reparise a little bit. Also, I'm unsure if there's actually any protection. So if the ants were to bite through, will they be able to escape? Or is there some sort of steel mesh? It's hard to say. Um, the same with this up here. I'm unsure if there's actually a steel mesh or something. Um, because if that's meant to keep the ants out, it won't. Uh, the ants will escape that without any issues if they're small enough. Stuff like Laceous Niger, I think, would come through easily. Just squish them. Although Laceous Niger are quite big, they're also very small. So I think they could just come out. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and Farm Supply is a store I've been following quite closely. I really do like their products. Um, and from seeing them in real life, there's definitely some things that need to improve. But all in all, no one is perfect from the get-go. Uh, stores like Aesthetic Ads have been running for a few years, for Kushi have been running for like five years or something, very long times. Uh, I've only known about this company for a year, so per in my head they've been running for around a year. And it makes sense there's a lot of things that still needs to be improved because the more customer feedback you get, the better the product will be. So yeah, I would say if you wanna go for a little bit of an experimental nest, I definitely think you should try this out. Uh, and yeah, don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.